Hello everyone. Uh, in 2011, when the Holy Spirit uh, first uh, sent me out into the world and gave me warnings, we are starting to see some of those warnings that He gave come to pass. Uh, and a lot of my videos on those warnings went down with my computer. But I always keep the warnings that God gives to me because I write down everything that He gives to me, even the revelation knowledge, uh, the dreams, the visions, the warnings, they're all written down and I keep everything that he gives me. So last night he was speaking to me and he said, uh, the warning videos that you gave in 2011, uh, re, uh, put those uh, warnings back up and I said, my Lord, a lot of people heard those warnings in 2011 and, uh, it is an old warning, and the Holy Spirit said, put the warnings back up there so all the world can hear that the words that God gave to you are coming to pass. Uh, so I got, I went and looked through my notes, and I found uh, some of the warnings because there's so many. And uh, I really was just led by the Holy Spirit on what warnings to put up here. In February of 2011, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he told me that Oklahoma will see the worst weather ever. He said there'd be lightning strikes causing fire in California. He said Obama will move against Israel, giving their land away. He said Italy, Iran, I mean, I'm sorry, Italy, Ireland, Greece will announce they are collapsing. He said the coastlines will be flooded and the ocean will rise high and higher. He said the worst weather ever. The weather will grow worse. It will not get any better, church. I hate to tell you that. I tell you that in every warning, but it is true. And it is from the Holy Spirit of God. He said things will fall from heaven to this earth. He said there will be meteor showers and fireballs falling from the sky. He said there'll be a volcano in America. He said riots will be all around the world in Chicago and also in Washington, D.C. He said China will rise up against America through trade. He said there'll be riots coming. One world order. There'll be drought in Iraq, Iran, Texas, and Africa. He said China will rise up against America through trade said Japan will have an earthquake and flooding. He said London will be under attack from Muslims and Ireland will come to help them. He said America you're next. He said Russia is joining with Iran and China only for money. He said your borders are not safe and your enemies are moving through your borders into America moving weapons of mass destruction to attack you within your own nation. He said stay out of the sun, it is dangerous. It will be making many sick. The heat will grow worse. Texas will grow hotter and hotter and many will leave until borders are closed. He said Arizona, New Mexico will see violence. He said unemployment will be cut off with all government aid. He said Lebanon will attack Israel. He said Texas, Pakistan, France, Brazil, Poland, Colombia, and Venezuela will all see earthquakes. He said there will be flooding in Tennessee, Alabama, North Carolina, Alaska, Houston, New Orleans and Chicago. He said a plague will rise up out of Africa. He said the weather will grow worse. He said watch the sky for it is coming. He said the next Pharaoh will be a religious man. He said Israel will move against Iran and Lebanon. He said women will be moving into power where women were once forbidding. Those were the warnings that the Holy Spirit, some of them, not all of them, church, that the Holy Spirit of God spoke to me in 2011. These were the ones that he wanted me to repost, to reload and send them back out into the world. Church, 
there's no way I know what's coming. Do you hear me? I do not know or see the future. It is only by the Holy Spirit of God that I am given or know anything or have an understanding on what is coming. So if I know these things, that should tell you that God is talking and there is a God. And you better trust in Him and believe in Him and His dear precious Son, Jesus. Because I promise you what He showed me on this weather. You've not seen nothing yet, church. He showed me that what you're looking at now, you will continue to see this right up until Jesus returns. Do you hear me, church? This is going to continue that even into the great tribulation and even through the wrath of God. He showed me 60 pound hell that's going to be falling from the sky. I saw hell bigger than I've ever seen hell in my life and I've seen some big hell. Church, there's going to be things falling from the heavens that you and I have never even thought about. But it's coming. And the mark of the beast will be here. I'm telling you, while you're all sitting at home looking at this weather, you've not seen nothing yet. That weather's going to be so bad that man's not even going to be able to come up with the money to help the people that have their homes destroyed because there's just too much destruction. That's what he showed me. He said, everywhere you look, there will be destruction. It's coming, church. You're going to be seeing earthquakes. You're going to be seeing flooding. You're going to be seeing tornadoes. You're going to be seeing hail. You're going to be seeing damaging wind, damaging lightning. You've not seen nothing yet. And while you're looking at that, church, you're going to be looking at solar flares burning the grass and burning the trees. You're going to see power put out all over this world like you've never seen before. And if you're not dealing with that, you're going to be dealing with war and nations going to war and battle. You're going to see famine and drought like you've never seen before. You think I like telling you all this is coming? But I've seen it. I've seen it in visions. I've seen it in dreams. I was It was given to me by the Holy Spirit of God. I'm telling you, I'm out here to warn you that you've not seen nothing yet. This is just only the beginning of the destruction that is coming upon this earth. And you better look up because some of this is going to be coming from the heavens. Some of this is going to be falling to this earth. We're going to see meteor showers, that meteors hitting this earth. We're going to see fireballs hitting this earth. We ain't seen nothing yet. I saw the flooding in New York and I saw many years ago the flooding that hit the Statue of Liberty. I saw her going under in that flood. I, I'm telling you, church, I'm not the only one that has been given these things. There are many others that I knew in 2011 that God was speaking to and was sounding the alarm. I am a watchman on the wall. I'm here to tell you whatever God gives to me, I'm going to give it to you and I'm going to warn you. And, you know, I was talking to Preston the other day and I said, Preston, we are definitely seeing the things that the Holy Spirit has given come to pass. And I said, the Holy Spirit told me to send out those warnings in 2011. And he said, I don't know why. What are the people going to do? Whether you know a tornado or a storm is coming at you, there's nothing you can do. You can't stop it. We can't change what is coming. And I said, that's true, Preston. We may not can change it. But God wants to warn the world because that's how you know there's a God. Because he's speaking to his people through dreams and visions and warnings to let you know. How do they know that? The only way they know that is through God. So God is warning you, church. It is time to repent. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day to make your choice. Who you're going to serve. Because if you do not make that choice, that choice is going to be made for you. You're going to be left behind in the great tribulation. And then you're going to have to make that choice there. But then it's going to be your life. You're going to have to lay down your life. And for those that in the great tribulation that don't make that choice and don't repent of their sins, then they will see the wrath of God. It will be poured out upon them. I promise you, church, this is coming. 
We have been warned. God is sending out his warnings. It's time to get right or get left. It's just that simple, church. God's not going to allow you to be on the fence any longer. He's not going to have you to be lukewarm. You're either going to be hot or you're going to be cold. Because if you're lukewarm, God's going to spit you out of his mouth. Because God is not playing. The hour is moving upon us fast. And the Holy Spirit of God said all things that we're seeing will move fast, church. So may God go with each and every one of you. And I am sounding the alarm. God bless you all, my dear precious friends. In Jesus Christ's most holy name.